Pokemon Scarlet and Violet finally have compatibility with Pokemon Home. We're going to cover all of the details as well as all of the brand new features in today's video. So after months of waiting, we finally have Pokemon Home now in Scarlet and Violet. And for those of you who are still waiting, the maintenance period should be ending very soon, allowing you access in your games to Pokemon Home. I have sectioned everything off into chapters. So if there's specific things that you want to have a look at, you can check out the timeline below and skip to those or just enjoy everything that we are covering with this brand new update. So once you come into your Switch, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to be prompted to do an update into Pokemon Home home and also in scarlet and violet after you've done the home updates these are just so the compatibility issues are resolved and you will see once you have done the update down in the bottom left hand corner you'll see the version to 3.0.0 and that means you're on the latest version of pokemon home and then you'll be able to click into it if your maintenance period hasn't finished yet you won't be able to get past this screen but if your maintenance period is done you'll be able to get in and do everything you need to in pokemon home so the overlay of pokemon home hasn't changed too much from previous versions at all you're going to see the same kind of overlay of selecting the different games from this screen obviously you can come down to your pokedex check out how many pokemon you've got in your pokedex registered you've got your notebook there you've got pokemon move still from nds to the current games this is the Pokemon Go receive system, but I'm going to do a separate video on being able to get the Roman Gimme Ghoul in that. So keep an eye out on the channel for that one. And this is where you would get your Pokemon Home points from. Now, they were originally just transferring into Sword and Shield, but you can go into Scarlet and Violet now and transfer all of the points that you've got in your Pokemon Home account into league points now which will be transferred into your game so you just come into this screen here you can see we've got quite a lot of them and you want to just move them all over and they'll all get converted into league points now from this main screen here when you click on the pokemon then you can come into the respective games you can see you've got everything here from bdsp let's go let's go pikachu let's go eevee you've got sword and shield and you've got legends arceus as well as pokemon home as the main kind of software then you've got pokemon scarlet and you will have pokemon violet appearing in this page going forward and my boxes do look a little bit sparse on my home end but it's because i have already been in and moved a lot of the pokemon that i have in pokemon home over to my scarlet copy already so they're ready to kind of use in game now there are some interesting features here in pokemon home to pokemon scarlet and violet one of them is going to be the move relearner now if you take any pokemon and you put it into say Pokemon Scarlet as we've got here you'll see a little disc option appear on the Pokemon when you put it into that game now you just want to click on this option and you'll see this option here of change moves and then you can come down this is a move set that the Zashin has crunch moonblast close combat and giga impact if you want to change this so when you bring it into Scarlet, it's got a different move set. You can go into its learnable moves and then change stuff. So for instance, we want Iron Head because we want Behemoth Blade. Uh, we'll have a look. We don't really want Moonblast, so we'll give it Swords Dance. And then Crunch doesn't really feel like it's something that we need. And Play Rough feels like a nice option just to give it that move set. Then you just click out of it and you'll see that yellow disc will turn to a gray disc. Now that's done and this can be done with any sort of pokemon same can be seen here if we move this heatran this heatran's from let's have a look where's this heatran from it's from a very old game of mine from the unova region so it's a very old heatran but i've moved it into pokemon scarlet you can see here i've got that yellow icon there and then i can go down to change moves and you're going to see the move set that we've currently got and then if we click in to change one of those you can see all of the different move options that we'll be able to teach it before we transfer it into Pokemon Scarlet. So that goes for Pokemon Violet as well, of course. Just remember anything with the red stop symbol over it is not going to be compatible with Scarlet and Violet. So you're not going to be able to trade any of these Pokemon in to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now. We'll have to wait till the DLCs for things like Snorlax, which we know is in the games. It will be probably available in the DLCs. And then once those DLCs drop, we should be able to move the remaining Pokemon that are going to be compatible with Scarlet and Violet into the games and also another point just to make as well anything from like legends arceus that you've got will actually be in a strange ball so this is from the hisui region this is a shiny gengar that i managed to catch in pokemon legends arceus and you can see that the ball 
ball that the Gengar is in is in a strange ball. So the strange ball will be kept when you transfer it over into Scarlet and Violet. It would still have that strange ball when you bring it into the game. But just interesting point, the strange ball is not breedable. So if you put this Gengar in with a ditto and set up a picnic and try to breed that strange ball down, the strange ball just converts into a pokeball so just a little bit of information for you if you were thinking about trying to breed things in strange balls it's not the case it's because the balls in legends arceus aren't in any of the other generations so the strange ball is the ball that you would be getting in that game that goes for sword and shield as well as bdsp so those strange balls for anything coming out of pokemon legends arceus will be in those balls and vice versa if you're transferring pokemon from pokemon home or pokemon scarlet and violet sword and shield bdsp into pokemon legends arceus then they will also be in strange balls as well so that's the only way that you're going to be able to get pokemon in strange balls and it's all to do with transferring in and out of pokemon legends arceus now as we know we have a full list of transferable pokemon anything from the seven star terror raids like the charizard and that line and then the cinderace the other pokemon that have featured in those seven star raids will all be transferable in gonna have things like the cantonian birds Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, you're going to have Mew, Mewtwo, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, you're going to have Uxi, Mesprite, and Azelf, and then Dialga, Palkia, Heatran, Giratina, Cresselia, Arceus, or Arceus is going to be transferable in as well. You're going to have the Genie Trio, Meloetta, and then if you aren't wanting to wait on the Delphox 7 star raid, you can now trade in Fennekin, Brexican, and the Delphox as well before that event goes live. Carbink, then Deance, Hooper, Volcanion is another one. So a lot of these mythical Pokemon, Magiena is another one that can transfer in. Again, same goes for the Rillaboom. If you don't want to wait for that seven star Terror Raid event that will be coming up, you can trade that in now from Sword and Shield. Zacian and Zamazenta, as well as Ernatus, and the Kubfu and Urshifu. Mythical Zarude, you can get Regieleki, Regidrago, then the Glastria, Spectria, Calyrex, then all of the Hisuian Pokemon as well. So things like Sneasler, Overquill, and Namorous as well. And then the list of transferable exclusive Pokemons that we've got at the moment. All the capped Pikachus from previous Mystery Gift events. You can get the Alolan forms as well. So Raichu, Dugtrio, then Persian, and then the Hisuian forms as well. You've got that Hisuian Arcanine and Growlithe. We've covered a few of those already. The Galarian Slowpoke and Slowbro, the Alolan Muck and Grimer, as well as the Hisuian Electrode, regular Taurus from Kanto, as well as the Galarian Birds as well from Sword and Shield, and then we've got a bunch more. So there's a lot of Pokemon here that we can transfer into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now, and that one right at the bottom there is the Gimme Ghoul roaming form that wasn't previously available in these games, just the chest form. So there is a lot of Pokemon that we can transfer in into these games already and of course once you've done transferring in and out you'll get this new warning message comes up that does explain how the moves pps and abilities will work when you're transferring pokemon backwards into previous generation games like brilliant diamond shine and pearl sword and shield or pokemon legends arceus the moves that a pokemon can know and the ability it may have can differ depending on which game it is in so moves their pp and ability will be recorded for each game you may see differences based on what game a pokemon is withdrawn to when you want to withdraw a pokemon from pokemon home you can have it remember moves it knew in other games so that is just the information that you need to know a little bit like that zash in there that we moved from pokemon home into pokemon scarlet and violet and just for some examples here i'm going to show you we've got a garchomp here that i have got in scarlet and violet right now there's two that are trained up uh, there's one that's level 50 and there is one that is level 100 as well both of them are hyper trained so you can see here one level 50 one level 100 hyper trained and what we're going to do is trade both of these into pokemon home just as an example because Garchomp, one of those pokemon that's pretty much available in most of the games that we've got as uh, sword and shield Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pill, and Pokemon Legends also. So a really good example to show you how this Pokemon can interact between each and every one of these different versions. If you want to trade from Scarlet and Violet back into BDSP, into Legends Arceus, or into Sword and Shield, this is how it will work. So when you come into the menu and you've got your game card in your console, you can click into the respective game. This is one we're going into Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pill. So this is Brilliant Diamond. And we're going to try and transfer the Garchomp 
into the games that we've got. So the Garchomps that we had in Scarlet and Violet, see if we can transfer these across into these games without any trouble. So this is the level 100 one and pull this one across and that's fine. And can we pull the level 50 one across? It does look like we can trade this one across. And from what I was the understanding of, anything that wasn't level 100 and was hyper trained, you couldn't transfer into those games, but it looks like you can. We've also got the Blissey just from Scarlet and Violet that we caught so we can transfer that in. And you can have a look at the different moves as well that these Pokemon can learn. So change moves, can go and take a look at the move set that we've got currently on this Garchomp, which is not the move set that we give it. So if we move it back into home and then we have a look at check summary, does it keep that? No, it's it's removed the move set that we had. And then we can save here. It does come up with that message again. And then we're gonna be able to see the Garchomps all saved and they're gonna be in our copy of Brilliant Diamond now. So this is the Garchomp here. I'm just gonna move my camera. It makes it a little bit easier to see everything. This is the level 50 one. This is the level 100 one. So this one is in fact transferable. You're able to transfer this back into BDSP. You can see that it's hyper trained. It has got an adamant nature here. You can tell, obviously you can't see the EVs on this Pokemon. It hasn't got the screen to do that in BDSP but the stat numbers match up. 200 um, attack means 252 EVs in attack and that adamant nature, and also 252 EVs in speed to get that 154 speed stat, and then the four in HP. So it does in fact allow you to transfer Pokemon that aren't level 100, that have been hyper trained, into these games and you can see uh, it seems to have traveled all the way across space and time itself to join me from a distant land so coming from the future obviously uh, as bdsp set in the past but this just goes to show that you can trade both a level 100 and a level 50 garchomp in and the same with the blissey i mean the blissey hasn't been hyper trained at all it was just to show an example of trading these into these games so that goes to show that you can trade across pokemon that aren't uh, that don't necessarily need to be level 100. So don't, don't go out and train your Pokemon to level 100. Think that you have to do that to trade them into BDSP if they're hyper trained and things like that. It just goes to show that you don't need to. They're transferable, whatever, even if they are hyper trained or not. So I'm just going to connect again to Brilliant Diamond. I'm going to pull these Garchomps out of Brilliant Diamond, put them back into home, and then we're going to transfer them into Pokemon Legends Arceus to see what differences that makes. So in... Pokemon Legends Arceus, you can see here we've got the Garchomp, we can pull it over. The interesting thing is going to be if the Terra type stays the same. This Garchomp, before we started, this was a Water Terra type, and this one was a Ground Terra type. So it'll be interesting once we've moved them all around the games and then pull them finally back into Scarlet and Violet, if those Terra types will stick or with if they'll be reset. Right, there are two Garchomps here, so you can see they have been transferred over. If we have a look at the summary screen of the Garchomps, you can see that they are in the strange ball as well. So that makes sense. You've got a bit more information. You've got the height, the weight. Uh, original partner is Osiris from Scarlet and Violet. So if you've got any other information here about them, there's a moveset we've seen come in. We know that it's not trained up. So those EVs have been completely removed as well as the IVs as well, because it's a different system in Legends Arceus. And then we get the same sort of description as we've got on BDSP. Uh, it seems to have traveled all the way across from space and time itself to join me from a distant land and that is a Garchomp and you're going to get both of them like this as well so this is the level 100 one um, and just a little bit different different trainer name there but exactly the same sort of information that we're going to see here and the same kind of training points and moveset etc etc so you can see that is these right and if you notice the moveset here when they're in Pokemon Legends Arceus Dragon Claw Earth Part Double Edge Outrage and then we'll move them into Pokemon Home themselves. And we'll have a look at the moveset now. And it is the same moveset as what we had when we pulled them across from Pokemon Legends Arceus. It will only be when we transfer them into another game that that will change. So we'll save this and then we'll pull them into Sword and Shield. So there's our two Garchomps like we just saw. We've seen the moveset has changed now that we've went into the game of Sword and Shield. That moveset from Outrage, from Double Edge, has all changed, reverted to what it would show us in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we can move one Garchomp over here. We get that mark coming up that we've got the option to change the moveset on the Garchomp here. You go to change moves, you can see the moveset that it's got. Click in on any of one of these, and then we can go through the list of moves it can learn, and we can teach it things like 
dragon claw we can teach you things like sword stance and then anything else that we want from this list to make it a bit more optimal before we have to do it in the games themselves which is quite nice so then you can just save the garchomps here in sword and shield we can see here they do appear in their ball because it's accessible in this game like it is in scarlet and violet so nothing changed there uh, we just see from a far away place because obviously Paldea not recognized in these games uh, it was caught at level 18 at the time so it does have a bit more information about it and you can see those EVs even though we traded it to Pokemon Legends Arceus where they got removed the information was actually kept because it's kept that Adam in nature and it's kept its EVs that it originally had of that 252 in attack, 252 in speed. So you're not gonna have to EV, re EV anything when you trade them around different games, which is really nice, especially because they can be removed when they go to Legends Arceus because they're different to what they would be in other games. That additional information is kept in the Pokemon. So it's just the movesets that will change, of course. And these are the two guard chumps that we can see here in pokemon sword and shield we'll finally transfer these out from pokemon sword and shield back into pokemon home and then we'll pull them back into scarlet and violet doing a full circle of all of the backwards compatibility with these two pokemon and we'll see how they appear when they get back into scarlet and violet then there are our two guard chomps here we'll have a quick look at the move sets that they've got see if they've changed at all we're back to what they were they are originally back to what they were when we traded them out so the moveset has reverted to what it was and that terror type is actually kept as well on both of the garchomps like i mentioned this garchomp had a water terror typing attached to it it still has a water terror typing despite it being moved from pokemon scarlet and violet into pokemon home into pokemon diamond pearl into legends arceus into sword and shield and then back to scarlet and violet all of those original initial information that we had evs ivs it was hyper trained the terror type as well all stay intact so you can rest assured if you are moving pokemon around and you're worried about losing a terror type that you've got on a specific pokemon or the move set or any of that other information all of the original data is actually kept in the pokemon and if you trade it back into that original game from wherever it's come from it will keep that information and it will be just as it was when you transferred it out so that is excellent information we can trade them back in now we know how it all works back in the original games and there are our garchomps as we left them so you can see the water terror typing as it's shown and everything as it was when we first let it go it's got the mark and everything nothing has changed at all ev spread is all there as well which is really nice so you can see it, nothing has changed the data has kept intact which is really great the other thing to note as well from pokemon home is once you have taken out or moved pokemon in from pokemon home to pokemon scarlet and violet you can get yourself these three mystery gift pokemon these are only accessible through the pokemon home app so once you go into your pokemon home app on your phone then you can log in and then you'll be able to receive these mystery gifts which will be transferred into pokemon home and it'll give you quaxly it will give you fiococo and sprigatito all with their hidden abilities uh, they'll have random ivs attached to them but they will all have their hidden abilities their fiococo with the unaware you've got the protein with the sprigatito and then the moxie with the quaxly so there's some nice gifts for you to get for just trading pokemon over but bear in mind that you do need the pokemon home app on your phone to be able to receive these mystery gifts and then trade them into your game and as you can see here are finally all of the hisui pokemon that we've got in these games which is amazing so you can see here they're all going to have their terror types kind of set to one of the two base typings that they've got for ursulana here it would either be a terror typing between ground and normal so it it depends on which one it picks i guess when it's traded across to scarlet and violet it's not going to have anything else but you can then teach it a new terror type in medallia using the terror shards uh you've got all the information here you've got bulletproof is the ability on it you can change that of course and then all of the stats and it can of course go in and remember moves and things like that so headlong rush one of its signature attacks of course from pokemon legends arceus so they're still going to have access to all of those you're going to have things like the hisuian growlithe as well again you can evolve the hisuian pokemon uh, normally by using the same methods that you did 
in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So Hisuian Growlithe, you'll be able to evolve into uh, Hisuian Arcanine by using the Firestone on this Pokemon. Uh, Cleaver, unfortunately, is only accessible at the moment in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So if you've got a Scyther, you're gonna have to trade it into Legends Arceus and then evolve it into Cleaver in that game. The only evolution that Scyther has currently in uh, Scarlet and Violet is into Scissor. Then we've got that brand new Pokemon, Enamorous as well, from Pokemon Legends Arceus, one of the genies. It's not a trio anymore, but then you can see all of these different Pokemon that are available from Hisui now. And if you do have anything like uh, the Overquill here, and you want to evolve, if you want to breed this down, or this works with Sneasler as well, which isn't specifically a Hisuian form, uh, you can breed these down by attaching an Everstone to these Pokemon and then breeding it with a Ditto and it will breed the Hisuian form down. So the, the Hisuian Quillfish will breed down if it's holding an Everstone. So that's one way to do it. It won't work on the start of Pokemon, unfortunately, because they have regular forms. You, you know, we've got Cyndaquil, which is a regular form in the games. The Everstone won't work on these Hisui Pokemon. Again, these Hisuian starters are going to have to be evolved in Pokemon Legends Arceus to get them in game. Um, and it goes with a number of them as well. But things like the Voltorb, that you can you can breed that down with an Everstone. So that is going to be breedable down because it is a different form altogether. When you look at the description of the Hisuian Pokemon, it seems to have traveled across time and space to join me from the Hisui region. Then there is obviously the mythical Pokemon as well. We got Zerud in the games now, which is pretty nice. Um, uh, original Trainer Jungle. This was from a mystery gift that went out for Zerud. And it does have a ribbon as well, the Wishing Ribbon, which is pretty nice. So you can attach that and then you can see all of the information about Zerud and that goes for all of the other legendary Pokemon that are now available from previous games that you can get from like Mewtwo, Dialga Palkia, Rayquaza, then Kyogre, Groudon, you're going to get Giratina. We went through the list but they're all available here and you'll be able to get access to all of these as well as the Alolan forms, the Galarian forms that are available in, in the games as well as the base forms like the Jotonian Wooper. It is already in the game, but the Cantonian Taurus is now available because its Paldean forms are in the game. So you're going to be able to get this one in the games which is nice as well and then obviously the the Uxie, Azelf and the Mesprite are all available in their games as well as mythical so there's a bunch of stuff that you can get it opens up the door for a bunch of things to have and enjoy in these games and there is nice functionality within Pokemon Home to make it a bit easier for trading Pokemon around and I think the big takeaway is that the data if it's traded out into Pokemon Home is kept so when you trade it back into scarlet and violet that information is as it was when it was traded out in the first place so that move set will revert to what it was you don't need to relearn anything its terror type is kept the same its evs are kept the same and everything like that which is really good information so, so i hope this quick update has been useful with some tidbits of information on how to use pokemon home as well as how transferring and that move relearner functionality kind of works you know down below what your first pokemon was that you've traded in from pokemon home to scarlet and violet i'd love to hear it down below we'll keep an eye out for our other pokemon home videos that will be dropping on the channel very soon so if you want to stay up to date with those make sure you do subscribe to the channel please drop a like on today's video if you have found it useful and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.